I always find that funny that, that Americans always, when they find I'm Australian, that's one of your first port of calls. You go, you go shrimp on the barbie, you go throw another shrimp on the barbie, which is a weird thing because that was, that was an advert that Paul Hogan did for Australian tourism to make you come out. That was never aired in Australia. And you call them shrimp, but we call them prawns. And he did it so that you would feel at home in our country. And so the advert was Paul Hogan going, throw, oh, we'll throw another shrimp on the barbie for you. And then you all went, that must be what they all say all the fucking time. <laughs> one, one Australian said it once. <laughs> once. It was said once by one Australian. And you think, oh, I'll just fucking bring that out all the time. <laughs> what, but were you, were you, why are you out here just on holiday? Or? Yes, it was this what, which, which, which one? This one here. I assumed it wasn't the Asian one next year. <laughs> Like, I, I could have been adopted or something, but I did the, I did the Ancestry.com. <laughs> do, do you know that woman or you just were having a fight with your sister and let her random? You know her? Is that your wife or? Yeah, yeah. When you're on holiday with your wife and your sister, your sister's the next person you say, I'm on holiday with my wife and my sister. You don't go, I'm on holiday with my sister and whatever this thing is. No, you don't do. You always, always mention your wife first. And I can say that as a man who's had about six women leave him. So I've learned some lessons along the way. I have, I've lived with six women in my life and they've all left and sooner or later, I'm gonna start blaming myself. <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon I'm one or two away, one or two away. Yeah, Sally, sir. Baltimore. Baltimore. See, well, that's not far. What, what made you come to LA? Just wanted to wear a T-shirt? <laughs> I don't know a lot about Baltimore. I know the wire was set there. It seems like a hell hole. <laughs> I'm sure it's very nice. I'm gigging there in a couple of weeks. I know that Michael Phelps lives there and uh, The Wire. That's pretty much <laughs> it, right? Fucking uh, Tupac was from there. He was. He was. What? He, he went to high school in Marin. Although you're not the guy that looks like the authority on Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to take your word for it. No one seemed to correct you. All right, you want me to button up for this bit? All right. All right. I got, I've gotten to that stage in my life where someone dresses me. <laughs> I had it at the beginning of my life. My mother used to dress me and now I've got Kit dresses me until comes up and goes, she comes up and goes like this, straighten your belt up. And I'm like, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be for years of my career, I was dressing myself. And then like I go to award shows and they're like, put a handkerchief in your pocket. And I pull it out to blow me nose. And they're like, no, no, that's meant to. Oh, I didn't know. 